Hi everyone, I'm going to draw a spirit portrait and um, hopefully with the information as well as the picture someone will realise who it is. I feel a very strong, bold presence around me at the moment. I've drawn hundreds of pupils and eyes before, but this time I'm feeling the initial C as I draw. It is quite hard to uh, draw and hold your mobile phone at the same time, but um, hopefully. be too bad. As you can see mentally I slow down once I start drawing and that's because of entering a slightly altered state. Apologise for any background sounds. There's be a dog barking outside. Right, okay. I, I've, I'm sensing um, a stay in a hospital here and um, I want to stress it was an unwanted stay in the hospital. The person didn't like being there. Um, and they may have voiced this to you on numerous occasions. I'm very aware of behind my right ear at the moment. Um, not quite sure what that is about. As um, a clairsentient, um, I have um, a strong sense, strong feeling. So I have to be aware of anything that I may feel because it, it could end up being significant to do with the reading. I'm very drawn to the mentally to the tummy area as well here and um, a general slowing down of things I even feel like I'm slowing down a bit as I'm drawing I don't think I am <laughs> it's the way that it's making me feel I feel that this person had their eyes opened a little bit as well um, I'm not being told in what with regards to, but I just feel their eyes have been opened a little bit. Um, maybe towards the end, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not being told when. And I don't make things up, I just tell you what I feel. If you've watched my videos, you'll see that quite often um, I'll start in a very similar way and then it starts to get a little bit more just to do with the face that I'm drawing. Oh, a problem with teeth here. I don't know uh, if they lost their teeth. And I mean literally lost their teeth, as in had dentures and lost them, or, or um, I'm feeling quite unhappy about it. Um, it's not very dignified, is it, if you lose your dentures? Especially if it weren't at your hands. I'm very, I feel like a very kindly nurse was around them, um, and and this nurse may have visited them when they were at home as well. Um, I just feel that this nurse went slightly beyond the call of duty. 
I've been in relative with anything. I'm not actually being told. I just know that um, this nursy feeling around me. There may have been concerns around Dad. Is it Dad? I'm, I'm feeling concerns around um, a gentleman at the moment. Um, I'm seeing injections being given, so I do feel there would have been a medical complaint that would have um, required to, to have um, medicine administered in this way. I don't know, you know, I can't tell you what kind of medicine. Um, I'm just seeing the syringes. As I'm drawing these shapes to create the hair, um, it looked like I saw OXO written there. <laughs> so I don't know if OXO, I'm thinking of like the old OXO cubes. Um, if they're significant in some way. I feel there, there was um, a bench not too far away. I'm, I'm feel that I may have walked and sat on this bench. I feel this bench is significant in some kind of a way. And this is one that was brought afterwards, I don't know. It's very um, hard when you're not getting feedback from someone as you're drawing. <laughs> When I demonstrate in public, you know, um, it'll be a little bit more fluid, the mediumship with the persons with me. Because obviously I'm, I've got someone saying hello, yes, no, or whatever. I feel I, I could be classed as a marathon um, runner when it comes to ironing. I feel I would have done a lot of ironing. And I could do it quite quickly as well. I'm being told about a rose bush that has been planted in memory of this person. I'm being taken to July the 18th. If it isn't the actual 18th, it's going to be very, very close to that date as being a significant date. I'm getting quite um, out of breath, but I'm really feeling it in the central chest area um, as I'm drawing. I'd like to go to June as being quite significant as well and obviously you know June could be a girl's a lady's name or, or, or a month I'm being shown um, a picture frame that um, is two frames um, let me just draw a little one for you you know when you have a frame and then you have another frame and then you have a bit here in the middle um, so you can fold it a little bit I can't think what you call them um, which has um, two significant photos within it <laughs> um, it might not be actually be 
silver, but I'm seeing it as though it was a silver frame. But I know there would have been two special pictures and that this frame joined in the middle and could be um, open or closed. And that would stand up somewhere special. And I believe it's near curtains because I'm being shown curtains. Okay. I feel that there's um, <laughs> uh, an animal, um, I'm not sure it was a cat or a dog at the moment, because um, it's quite small, but I feel that the hair had, the fur had got quite um, um, matted or, or in trouble in some way, because it is looking quite sorry for itself, it's fur. <laughs> um, I feel I need to bring the love of that animal in as well. And the animals do come and join us as well. You know, they, they like to see what we're getting up to. Well, I really hope that someone can take not only the portrait, but also the information that I have drawn and given. And I've drawn this on the 2nd of August, 2014. But I know there would have been um, a significant event that would have happened in the year 1998 because I'm being shown it. So I don't know if that is when this person passed or if it's special in some other way. Thank you. Please visit my website www.workingforspirit.com to find other examples of my work and to see how you can find out more about having a spirit portrait drawn for yourself. Thank you.